back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. My name is Aaron, and I'm here with my pal, Yosef. Yosef, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Excellent, man. I'd love to ask you a couple of questions. Shoot away. So, uh, Yosef has told me that he considers his um, knowledge about cryptocurrency kind of above average. Nowhere near expert, nowhere near newbie, but above average. My question for you is this. What do you think in the short to mid term is stopping the biggest thing stopping Bitcoin from getting to $100,000? I think it's certainly regulation here in the United States. I think, yeah. What are you afraid of specifically? How would they regulate? So the U.S. is known to be slow when it comes to new technology as opposed to uh, some other countries abroad, um, such as like Asia. Um, I think the fact that the United States is slow with the regulations is a good thing and a bad thing, right? So a number of investors aren't getting scammed with uh, certain tokens or ICOs. But on the same hand, on, on the other hand, uh, it, it's also holding back quite a bit of institutional investors, family offices, um, hedge funds, companies with large assets uh, ready to deploy to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But with the lack of U.S. regulation, they can't take the necessary steps in order to acquire and own any cryptocurrency. Yes, Yosef, I like it. We're all very bullish on Bitcoin in the long term, but what do you think is the main thing preventing Bitcoin from reaching 100K in the short term? What's stopping it right now? Time. With every, every day that goes by that Bitcoin exists, um, we get closer to 100K, the probability of 100K. Bitcoin's I believe Bitcoin's network, uh, Bitcoin's value grows in proportion to the network size. So um, every day that it doesn't fall to zero um, increases the probability that it will eat up all fiat value. Time is my answer as well. That's all we need for it to mature, for it to grow. Yeah, it it's would... early. It's like it's super early. Like I, I want my hundred x gains now. Yeah, um, I do too. But <laughs> but it's early. But it's but it's it's early and. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, 10 years from now, we're gonna be like, man, that went by so fast. I, it, it, it just, it just kind of feels like it takes a long time, but like this thing, this is, this is a thing that has never happened in the history of the world. Permissionless. Permissionless uh, value exchange that is not, uh, that is not dug out of the ground and, and exists in a kind of physical state and is not uh, dictated by a sovereign. Like this has never happened before. Your boyfriend and a lot of people very bullish on Bitcoin. What do you think, as a normal person, what could stop Bitcoin from, from getting to $100,000 in the short to medium term? What could be the one thing that stops it? Um, I'm, I'm skeptical about Bitcoin. I don't know much about it. And I think that's why a lot of people are skeptical. Um, I think what could stop Bitcoin from mooning, I know the vocabulary, is basically I've just seen it go down so much. It goes up a lot, but it also drops just, just as it's going up. So it's it's really volatile, and I don't see any stability in it personally. So I'm not I'm not a big fan. So you're saying it's the volatility it's that the could volatility that it could what if it gets a hundred thousand dollars, it could drop just as easily to zero, and that's what stresses me out. So a lot of people. That's gonna dissuade a lot of people. Yes, it dissuades me. So. Yeah. What do you think is the main thing stopping Bitcoin from hitting 100k in the short term? What would you say? Uh, governments, I don't, can't, don't see how governments would benefit from this, and I can't see governments promoting or letting things happen if they don't benefit from it. It, it takes away their control of currency, which is something I think that's integral to centralized government. So I just can't see them really kind of letting it uh, grow to that extent and have that much power. They know how to tax it. They're good at that. Let me ask you this. We're all pretty bullish on Bitcoin long term. Yes. But what would you say is the, the main thing stopping Bit Bitcoin from reaching 100K in the short term? I think that we're still very, very early. I think a lot of people were shaken out of the market. Um, when we had that 2017 bull run, we went parabolic and we saw Bitcoin jump up to 20K and then we dumped. We saw lows of like 3K. That's scary. That's scary for someone that experienced making that much money in a short period of time. And I think a lot of people just said, Bitcoin is a scam, it's not gonna go anywhere, it, they're just done. 
So we have those people that left the market. And then we also have a lot of other people that are kind of interested in getting involved, but they don't know when to get involved. And right now, there's a lot of products and services that are being built around Bitcoin. And I think that's going to help get more people excited. But I think this space still has a lot to go before more people start using Bitcoin as it was intended to. So you're saying we just need more time to mature? I think we need more time to mature. The space is really young. And I think that it's still kind of complicated to use Bitcoin, like to use a ledger, even to go on Coinbase sometimes. It's confusing and it can be scary for some people. Ladies, right here, thank you. What do you think is the one thing stopping Bitcoin from getting to $100,000? Are we talking about price instead of development? <laughs> really? We're talking about price? I just, I just wish there was a... Uh, how would you say, like, more workshops on, like, how to build, you know, it's like, help Bitcoin engineers, you know? I just feel like it's focused on, like, the developer community isn't big enough to, like, help. It's like, oh, how can we help? Yeah. Do you think enough people are running full nodes? No. <laughs> yeah, probably not, right? <laughs> okay. yeah. Anything else? Like, you were talking about, you want to talk about not price, but tech and development. Tech and development side, what is stopping Bitcoin from, from growing? Well, I liked it that Justin Moon had his uh, Bitcoin workshop. Yeah. Not, not Justin Sun, but Justin Moon. Exactly. Yes. Justin Moon, not Justin Sun. Uh, he hosted a Bitcoin workshop during Consensus Week, and we got to attend the Bitcoin Python workshop, and, uh, and like uh, actually letting us know like which one is the one to develop with. It's like, not this one. This, this will go take you the wrong path. And I'm like, oh, this is great. Yeah. Dude, let me ask you a question, man, because like always, we come to you for the real deal info, okay? So in the short to medium term, what is the one thing that could stop Bitcoin from getting to $100,000? Oh, God, the short to medium term. Yeah, like, you know, uh, I'm a big believer. I still think that this, uh, this formation is going to resolve to the upside. There's just so many big players coming in right now. The biggest thing that could happen is some kind of... A deal, I think, between the U.S. and China on trade. I think that would really uh, pull the wind out of the sails because a lot of people are seeing the the fragmentation between major nations and saying, "Okay, is this a chance for another big currency, another reserve currency?" I think uh, economic recession, all these fears. I think if the economy starts taking off again and, and a U.S.-China deal happens, we could see a slowdown uh, and it might not take off as fast as we want. But you know, like. I still think that there's a lot of hope, even if that happens, for people to still keep investing and seeing Bitcoin uh, for what it is. At the same time, uh, you know, there could be some draconian regulation. There's the G7 summit. Maybe we get some sound bites out of there that are really like, oh, we're going to clamp down on this Bitcoin thing. I doubt it. Just but, sound uh, bites, though, maybe. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be regulation. I don't think there's going to be regulation. I don't even know what it is, probably. No, and I think you've heard time after time, like lawmakers at the top of the U.S. government saying, yeah, we're figuring out what to do with Bitcoin, but we're never, they're, they're not against it. Uh, so I think, I think it's pretty unlikely, but I could see probably U.S. China having some kind of like bromance emerge. Uh, that would probably be the worst thing for Bitcoin short term. But I don't actually see that. I don't see that happening. So. Just, and even if that did happen, you're just saying it'll slow things down, but... It's inevitable. I, I, don't, I don't see it as a permanent thing. I don't think uh, anything that U.S. and China do together seems very permanent right now. So I think both the U.S. and China are constantly in competition. So I don't think there's going to be some, some uh, constant agreement there. I think there's too much friction there. So if, if it was, it would be momentary. But at the same time, I think that trade war is really what's been fueling a lot of this rise of, at least for me, as from a macro standpoint. There's a lot of other things, obviously, but that's the one thing I could see taking the wind out of the sails. Obviously, we're all looking to, port to a recession, but I honestly don't think that that's going to happen too soon. I think that these things can take years to play out. And so even though we're flashing recession signs, that could be years away. Uh, I don't see that as being the direct uh, stimulus or, or you know, hindrance to Bitcoin right now. I think really it's the, it's the U.S.-China sort of tensions that are really potentially putting the gas pedal on or not. But I don't think that's necessarily going to send us back to, to lows or anything. I don't think we're going to revisit lows. But no, no, we got one more question. We got one more question. Okay. So you're a smart investor, I think. There's a lot of people in this space who are worrying about altcoins. But you, you've said multiple times, yeah. Bitcoin, you think, 
a perfect storm is happening. So here's the thing. The year is now 2022. Okay. Bitcoin just went parabolic from $150,000. Now it's at $250,000. Sure. By all accounts, this might be time to cash a little out. What is the first thing you buy? It's the first thing I buy. Oh gosh. 